Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. This day we are living is the day of power. And we are going to be willing in Jesus' name. And it says, in the beauties of holiness, from the world of morning, thou hast the dew of thy youth. You see, that is where God stands, that place of holiness. And it is from there he unleashes the power of holiness upon us. And that power goes to do many things in our lives. And our prayer tonight will be, oh God, move in our lives tonight that we will come up higher where you are, where everything is possible. I want you to close your eyes now. We are going to pray. And we are going to tell the Lord, oh Lord, make me to come up higher because I want to be where you are so I can enjoy the goodness that you have for me. Open your mouth, pray, and say, Lord, here am I. I want you to move me up, to move me higher, to move me greater, to help me to come up to where you are and stand on that holy ground from where we can receive the power of God, the solution to our problems, and all the desires that God has for us will be fulfilled tonight. Pray and tell the Lord. Tell the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Give me a louder amen. Give me a global amen. You see, the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 35, it says in verse 4, Say to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong. You will be strong tonight. It says, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance. Maybe there are people terrorizing you. Your God will come with vengeance. It says, even God with a recompense, he will come and save you. Salvation is available tonight. And then it says, Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened. And while we are praying, get ready, something will be working on your eyes. And then the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. Get ready, your ear is going to burst open in Jesus' name. And then it says, Then shall the lame man leap as an heart. You are not only going to walk tonight if you are paralyzed, if you are lame, if you are using crutches, you are going to leap. You are going to jump. You are going to jump out in Jesus' name. And then it says, And the tongue of the dumb shall sing, for in the wilderness shall waters break out. Something will break out here tonight. And there will be streams in the desert. Pray and say, Lord, I want there to be something in my life that will break out tonight. Let us pray. Just say, Lord, break everything that is torment in my life, bring life, bring health, bring salvation, bring deliverance. In Jesus' name we pray. Our Father, we thank you tonight. We believe that tonight is going to be the greatest night of this crusade. And Father, we are ready and we are willing because this is the day of power. And I pray that Lord, as we, our willingness, we meet your own readiness. Explosion of miracle will take place tonight in Jesus' name. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Give me a very loud amen. God bless you while are still standing, we shall sing from the back of our program. He healed them all. He healed them all, the blind, the lame, the palsied, the sick in body, and the weak in mind. Whoever came, no matter how afflicted, we are sure a sovereign remedy to find. His word gave health. His touch restored the vigor to every weary pain, exhausted frame, and all he asked before he gave the blessing was simple faith in him from those who came 
And it's our Lord, the kind, the good, the tender, less loving now than in those days of old? Or is it that our faith is growing feeble and Christian energy is waxing cold? Why do we not with equal expectation now bring our sick ones to the Lord in prayer? Right through the throng of unbelieving scruples, up to his every side and leave them there. He never held to refuse in bygone ages, nor feared to take the chastisement away. Then why not ask if now, instead of praying for patience to endure from day to day? the Lord. In Psalm 57 from verse 9, we want to spend some time to pray. Psalm 57 says, I will praise thee, O Lord, among the people. I will sing unto thee among the nations. For thy mercy is great unto the heavens, and thy truth unto the clouds. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let thy glory be above all the earth. We want to spend some time to worship God, to praise his holy name. Our God is a great God. He is a wonderful God. He is a mighty God. He has been manifesting his power all along in these showers of blessing crusade. We let's spend this time to worship the almighty God and give him all the glory due unto his holy name. Worship the Lord, give thanks to the Lord, 
give adoration, exaltation, and magnify the name of the Almighty God, Jehovah. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. We are uh, in Genesis chapter 2, uh, verse 7. The Bible says, And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Without the breath of God, Adam was lifeless. And every sinner is lifeless without the breath of God. We are going to pray. As we are looking up to God for showers of salvation, we are going to pray that the showers of salvation will come down by the mighty power of God upon everyone who is yet to be saved, uh, so that these showers of blessing crusade will be a great blessing to every one of us. Let us pray. All our friends who are here to give their lives to Christ, let's pray that the Spirit of God will touch their hearts, we draw their hearts, and we melt them, we transform them, we save them in a magnificent way in Jesus' name. All power belongs to God. Without Christ in a sinner's life, he is lifeless. He is lifeless, like Adam as a statue. But when the breath of God came into him, he had life. He became a living soul. Every sinner will become living souls when spiritually alive, when Jesus comes into their hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. In Ezekiel chapter 37, uh, I read from verse 1. The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones and caused me to pass by them round about and behold they were they were very dry there were very many in the open valley and lo they were very dry and he said unto me son of man the can these bones live and i answered o lord god thou knowest uh, we are going to pray. Dry bones are people who have been alive before, alive in the past, but at this time they are spiritually dead, either because they are backslidden or they have gone into apostasy. So we are going to pray that these great showers of blessing will bring showers of restoration to dry bones in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Let's call upon the name of the Lord that the power of God, the breath of God, breathe upon those who used to be believers before, but they are now dead and dry, spiritually dry, dead and dry, that they will come alive by the power of God in Jesus' name. Let's pray unto the Lord. In verse 10 of that chapter 37 of Ezekiel, said, So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came or into them. Let's pray that the breath will come in these uh, showers of blessing crusade. The breath of life will come and breathe upon those who are spiritually dead and those who are spiritually dry, that the life of God will come upon them and they will live. And uh, it says, and they live and stood up upon their feet an exceeding great army. These are uh, uh, these uh, dry bones will come alive again. They become an exceeding great army in the service of the Lord in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. We are going to pray uh, in, uh, in uh, Deuteronomy chapter 30. Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 6. The Bible says, And the Lord thy God will circumcise thy heart and the heart of thy seed. To love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul that thou mayest be. We are going to pray unto the Lord for sanctification experience. Circumcision of her. That the spirit of the Lord in these great showers of blessing crusade will come upon everyone who is yet to be sanctified. Showers of heart circumcision. Showers of heart circumcision. 
we come upon every soul in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's call upon the Almighty God. These showers of blessing crusade will not pass any one of us by. There will be sanctification experience. There will be touch of God, transformation of heaven in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we are praying. In Acts of the Apostles chapter 4, reading there from verse 29, reading there from verse 29, it says, And now, Lord, behold their threatens, and uh, grant unto thy servants that with all boldness they may speak thy word, by stretching forth thy hand to heal, and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of thy holy child Jesus. And when they had prayed, the place was shaken where they were assembled together, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And they spake the word of God with boldness. We are going to pray. The church will be filled with the Holy Ghost. Believers will be filled with the Holy Ghost. And we will all speak the word of God with boldness. Let us begin to pray. Believers who have gone cold in evangelism, who have gone weary in evangelism, let's pray that the power of the Holy Spirit will come upon everyone and in this great crusade of showers of blessing and the Lord will visit everyone with Pentecostal power and with all boldness will declare his word. Lukewarmness will vanish away. Insipid spirit will vanish away. Coldness will vanish away.